so what's up everybody happy valentine's day to everybody out there today is february 14th 2018 and yes i know it hasn't been too much yet the 17th of february makes two months but i figured you know nothing at this point is really gonna happen any further that i need to update you exactly on the 17th which is only a couple days away so this will be my two month Pineal sinus update, and boy, has there been a lot going on with me. Not to say necessarily that this will happen to you. So, as I've talked about in a previous video a couple weeks ago, I had to go to the doctor for an emergency appointment because I started bleeding. Now, this guy, note from when I when I was finished with my surgery. From when I went, it was post-op, I think is what it's called, yeah, post-op, to pretty much from about uh, three weeks ago or whatever, I was seeing a new doctor. But uh, last week I finally got to see my surgeon, and I'll talk about that. But getting into about a couple weeks ago, I went for an emergency appointment because, as you know, I was bleeding and stuff from the wound, and... This guy told me I had a weight restriction. Well, I took it easy. As you know, the bleeding kind of tapered off for about a week. And then a week later, right when I finally got an appointment scheduled with the guy who did my surgery, so my original surgeon, which would have been just last Thursday, is when I saw my original surgeon. Pretty much that Monday, do you believe I started bleeding again? It wasn't all that bad. But come Wednesday, which, mind you, I was still on weight restrictions and stuff, but come Wednesday, it was bad. Like, I was literally dripping all over the floor and everything else. Although my incision, based on when I seen those two doctors, is healing up. And if I had a Todd told you about the uh, previous doctor, he took a Q-tip thing and put it in the sinus hole and laced it or did something. But I guess that didn't really help because it ended up gushing like the day before my appointment and then it stopped. So now we're going to talk about my appointment, which was last week. So I finally got to see my original surgeon after being in post-op for... Pretty much now would be about almost two months, eight weeks. So seven, seven and a half weeks from when I had my appointment last week. But um, I finally got to see him. He looked at it and we discussed why I was bleeding. He said the reason why I'm bleeding is because on the sinus, the walls surrounding it, there's blood vessels, uh, little tiny microscopic blood vessels, which is why yours may look red when you have somebody look at it, and why mine has a red color to it, bright red color to it. Those are because of the blood vessels and the blood reflecting color. And apparently, because it's not healed yet, any little thing that you do to them blood vessels to agitate them will start bleeding. So what my surgeon did, the guy who did my surgery, which is who I'm seeing, talking about it right now, he told me we have to take a gauze packet and put it on the hole. Not in the hole, but you just take it, put it on the outside, and you wear whatever traditional pad, too, that you had to wear originally because the gauze pad protects them little blood vessels until the skin closes. And another thing my surgeon had informed me of, because I asked him about, well, how long will it take for my pineal sinus to heal? Because I've read up that um, it can take up to six months, and mind you, I think I have told you that in uh, post-op videos, this previous guy... The other doctor who saw me said it can take up to a year to two years. Well, my surgeon who did my exact surgery and knows what he did compared to this other doctor told me it should have been healed pretty much on January 17th, which would have made exactly one month from when I got surgery. So I should have technically been healed for the most part, but I guess I'm a slow healer. So what he told us we have to do is give it another month. And he also said he wants to see me back in two weeks, so I'll update you on that. And 
also, he uh, said, too, that I don't really have a weight restriction. He said, if you end up having a problem that I did, my surgeon basically said I can walk, run, jump, do whatever I want. No problem at this point. But he just recommends that if I'm able to, and if you're able to, if you have this problem that I've been going through while recovering, he, he recommended that I should get a bath and, like, make sure water cleans that tissue out or whatever because it's still oozing somewhat. So basically that's how the appointment went. That's basically the main part of the video. Now, basically, it's only been a week. But uh, now, since we started listening to him and putting the gauze on the wound, along with wearing a regular pad that I usually wore, the bleeding has pretty much stopped, thank God. There's only like a tiny bit of blood, along with still some pus and leakage. That was from the wound anyway. So pretty much now I'm doing okay. As far as pain goes with it, if I sit for a long period of time, depending on the surface, if it's a harder surface, it doesn't take as long for it to not hurt. But after a while, it gets uncomfortable to sit. But other than that, I don't, I'm not in constant pain or nothing. So I'm pretty much good. This pretty much was my two-month update. That's all the major things I have to say. It hopefully will be healed within the next month and I can do an ending video to this series of the pineal sinuses and get back to other blogs, which I hope you enjoyed my other blogs, by the way. And um, get back to talking about what's going on in my life because there's a few things that are going on. So if you're a subscri subscriber to uh, pretty much my channel in general and not just this series of videos keep watching so remember like subscribe and comment and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope my this series helps you i don't have any updated pictures but probably the next time i go see him which will be next week since we'll be at the doctor's i'll have him take a picture and pretty much at the end of the series i'll show you the progression photos do a whole video of progression photos from when I had my surgery two days out to the end result of what it looks like. So remember, like, subscribe, comment, and the playlist to this Pineal Sinus series from pre-op to now to if I, I'll probably do a couple more future videos will be in the description below. Thank you all for watching. Bye, and happy Valentine's Day.